The Sudanese Civil War of 2023 erupted in April of 2023. The war has devastated Sudan, leading to the displacement of millions and a humanitarian crisis that has shocked the world. The conflict between the Sudanese armed forces and the rapid support forces is not just a battle for military control. It's a brutal power struggle, one that has its roots in Sudan's complex political landscape. Let's take a look at how it started, what has happened so far, and the prospects for peace in 2024. The beginning of the conflict. The Sudanese civil war officially began on April 15, 2023, when fighting broke out between the Sudanese armed forces, led by General Abdel Fattah al-Burhan, and the rapid support forces, commanded by General Mohamed Hamdan Dagalo, widely known as Hementi. But this was not a sudden eruption. Tensions between the SAF and the RSF had been building for months, if not years. The SAF and RSF are both remnants of Sudan's volatile political system. In 2019, Sudan experienced a revolution that ousted longtime dictator Omar al-Bashir. What followed was a fragile power-sharing agreement between military factions and civilians. However, a 2021 military coup led by Burin and Hamedi suspended civilian governance, igniting distrust and unrest throughout the country. The fragile alliance between the two military leaders fell apart over differences about Sudan's future governance and the integration of the RSF into the SAF. On April 15, 2023, violent clashes began in Sudan's capital, Khartoum, and quickly spread across the country. The RSF launched a series of coordinated attacks on key military sites in Khartoum, triggering immediate retaliation from the SAF. What followed was intense urban warfare in the streets of the capital, including bombings, artillery fire, and the use of heavy weaponry in densely populated areas. As the conflict escalated, the civilian population was caught in the crossfire. Families were forced to flee their homes, and food and medical supplies became scarce. Within just a few weeks, hundreds of civilians had died, and thousands were injured. Key battles and ceasefire failures. In the early weeks of the war, both factions claimed significant victories. The RSF, which originated as a militia force and had been heavily involved in the Darfur conflict, managed to seize control of critical parts of Khartoum and Omdurman. Meanwhile, the SAF responded with airstrikes and artillery, targeting RSF-controlled areas. Ceasefire agreements were brokered multiple times, but each one was violated within hours. Ceasefire talks began in late April, with international mediators from the United Nations, the African Union, and regional powers like Saudi Arabia and Egypt trying to bring the two sides to the negotiating table. Despite these efforts, the fighting only intensified. The humanitarian crisis, the consequences of the war have been devastating for Sudan's civilian population. By the end of May 2023, over a million people had been displaced within Sudan, while hundreds of thousands fled to neighboring countries like Egypt, Chad, and South Sudan. Refugee camps quickly became overwhelmed as the number of people needing shelter, food, and medical care skyrocketed. International humanitarian organizations, including Doctors Without Borders and the World Food Program, have struggled to deliver aid due to the ongoing violence. Khartoum and other major cities became battlegrounds, making it nearly impossible for civilians to access essential services. By June 2023, Sudan faced a severe food crisis, with nearly 20 million people at risk of hunger, exacerbated by the disruption of agricultural production and supply chains.